continuing off that, we have, uh, was it something about the trenches or, Pearl. it's a, it's a steam game where essentially it's all Cthulhu oriented. It's a fishing game and you have to dig from the trenches and go fishing for diff- different fish. And there's a story with it, but it's all connected to Cthulhu and there's like two different endings with it. Yeah. And it sounds very similar to this Cthulhu type understanding that you're talking about in the book um, to, to stop the end of the world or. There's another one that reminds me of it. It's, uh, I think it's like Sunless Skies or something like that. And essentially, um, you like there was a there was one game where it was like Sunless Seas, and I think it was followed up by Sunless Skies. And in Sunless Seas, obviously, you're on a boat and you're traveling around, and you come across like, you know, things that are just unimaginable, and and you know, you're fighting against terror, and you're trying to do resource management, and you're trying to complete quests. Um, and some of the skies is essentially the same thing, except that you have a train okay. that flies through the skies. It, it's hard to describe it accurately, but and what's fascinating about this is it's kind of a roguelite because, you know, the, the concept is, is that your, your train dies and gets destroyed. Right. And so the next, they, like they salvage it and the next captain takes over for the, the, the ship. And then you continue on. And sometimes you'll you'll have some of the items that you lost or something like that. All the quests get reset. I mean, so the game I was talking about was Dredge. Really, yeah. really good game. But there's also a movie that talks about that. In, in a way, pretty much this... Earth has frozen over. Earth, Terra, wherever, wherever they live. Whatever planet they're on. But it froze over. And essentially the people in the back... The further back in the train you go, the poorer you are society wise and the closer towards the front the more prestigious you are yeah i i've i've seen that i can't remember the movie name yeah i can't remember the movie name but i've seen that that's also the one that my dad likes to quote because he talks about them like feeding them bugs <sighs> feeding the bugs putting their arm out the freaking train window freezing off and eating it and uh that's not disturbing but i mean it sounds very in line with what you're talking about so that was book two that you read. Sunless Skies. If you like roguelites, I would definitely suggest it. It's a lot of fun. It's one that I cycle back to. Okay. Yeah, text me. I'll definitely probably jump on this game and 100% it. Because I definitely 100% games. Like Vampire Survivor? Like Vampire Survivor. Which which I showed you, and I expected us to be able to play together, and then you're those so like... I mean, you also said you were going to talk about it on a podcast. Like, oh, we just got this game, and done. But, you know, I also bought other games. You did. I, have, I haven't touched the Zelda one that we were playing the other day as much as I've wanted to. Yeah, don't touch it. That's a, that's, that's it a, like, that's a group game that's going to be a struggle city for me not touching the that's game that's a group game but we're playing grounded right now yeah we're playing grounded so because grounded did a release grounded the 1.4 release. release we can't we can't fully touch we're touching on some of the stuff but we can't fully touch on ng plus mm-hmm. and it goes up to nine but four is the most released where they have stuff four is infused and then three to one they release new weapons and stuff but Your four, game, new game plus up to new game plus four. Yeah, new game plus four is where they have new stuff actually introduced in the game. From what I've researched, up to new game nine is the highest you can go right now. And it just anywhere from five or four is the last introduction of stuff. Introduction. Hold on, I gotta take a big gulp. <sighs> and from five to nine. It just gets harder and harder. But the fact they have pretty much nine prestiges of this game, because yeah. every time you redo it, it resets the store and you got to re push it and you got to fight. Cabo, stop your licking. You got to refight the Hedge Brood Mother, the Mantis, and the Wasp. Back him. <laughs> stop your licking. Stop it. Stop it. So, I mean, you still have to beat, like, the extra DLC-type characters. Go ahead, Toby. Come up. Just lay on him. He's he's used to yeah, Pearl just he's laying on top Pearl. of him. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, 
Oh man, I'm super stoked to get to new game plus and get to the infusions and all. So we're literally just like gunning right now. It's like this the game, armor. Get... I wouldn't be surprised if I just push through the rest of the story and you just hop on and we're on new game plus. Like I'm seriously going to push Javamatic, which is the quote unquote end game. I can definitely single handedly do the brood mother in the hedge because that was the first spider we ever fought yeah. man that first time the first time was we, a nightmare we, we were, yeah man we, we we were going in you're we like uh, 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 i don't know about this bro <laughs> yeah because there's webs you're going through literally a cocoon of spider web oh yeah it's terrifying it, it, and it's a know, banana spider by the That's... way i will i don't know if we've talked about grounded before on this i don't think we have but i will give them props because i think they might have been the first game that did the arachnophobia setting. I think I would agree on that. And, and other games have done it since. They've started doing it because a lot of people, same way Helldivers recently, which I want to touch on, um, they touched on the people that want to play the game are afraid of spiders because they love the whole honey, I shrunk the kids or honey, we shrunk ourselves. Mm -hmm. Little people in a big world. Honey, I shrunk the kids was so good. And that's essentially what the game is referred to a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it's the game where someone shrunk all the kids. It's like, are you talking about the movie or, I mean. The game. The game. Like, it's called Grounded. But no, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And other games have come out with, oh, you're a tiny person in a normal world. And, and, it, it, and they do it pretty well. We got another one that we want to follow Small up. world. Small land. Small Small we always get that one mixed up. We do. Not a care in the world. Man, no bow. All Toby. All Toby. Hey, hey Pearl. But yeah, it's it's very interesting the way games have definitely done that. 